welcome in so okay so sorry i'm so sorry i just have to apologize <laughs> i am literally shaking because this was such a last minute thing i didn't know if i was going to be able to actually live stream this live stream so we're just gonna go with the flow it's gonna be great everything's gonna work out everything's gonna be fantastic rebecca tiana kelvin hello and welcome in l hello ashley nazi welcome in mimi amador default gamer valkyrie nicole nuka hello brian hello hello nicole welcome in welcome in everybody are we excited about the showcase do not kill me about the lighting on stream. I like never stream during the day. So the lighting is kind of like set for nighttime and we're gonna ignore my hairstyle. We're gonna ignore everything. We're just gonna ignore me and focus on the stream because I look a mess. I just, I just got done with work. This is, it's not, <laughs> I'm so nervous. I am so nervous. Let's test some things while we're all waiting. Hold on. Let me just test to make sure everything is going to work the way that it should. Um, hold on. Let's see. Uh, we're going to go streaming. Screen share. Okay. That's not the right thing. No. Okay. All right. So we should be able to see everything here that we need to see. Look at the thumbnail. Oh, my God. Oh my God, we're starting in 10 minutes. Nicole, so good to see you. Welcome in, welcome in. Hello, so glad you're streaming. Couldn't be the same without my favorite Dreamlight Valley creator. I was like, I have to do this. This is their first ever live stream. We have to do this together. We have to. Welcome in everyone. I'll probably be lurking. No worries. I know a lot of people are working. Oh God, something changed. Are they starting early? Okay. It's, 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 it's 10 minutes. Okay. We've got, we've literally got 10 minutes. Everything's fine. I'm feeling fantastic. Look at Kato. Look, Kato streaming. All the creators are streaming. So if you are here, thank you guys so much for being here. Vet, thank you so much for this super chat. Gotta show some love. Thank you so much, Vet. Welcome in. Are you excited about the announcements that are happening today? Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Vet. If you guys do not know Vet or Mounting Gaming here on YouTube, please make sure you go get subscribed. Vet, thank you so much. Thank you so much and welcome in. All the streamers I'm sub to are streaming. I know, I know, I know everybody is streaming. I wish that I could have had this better scheduled so people know or knew that I was going live, but it had to be a last minute thing. I, we just, we just, it's hard during the day for us. I'm so excited. Okay. Um, let me, okay. So we've got this. Everything should be working out just fine. I'm also going to go back to my playlist just so we have some cozy music playing. Do you guys think, do you guys think they're going to show multiplayer? And are we, we're going to get a sneak peek at the, the, um, expansion pass that's coming. We know that. Do you think they're going to show us how multiplayer is going to work? What are our expectations? What do we think? I'm so nervous. Yes, I hope so too. I really, really hope so too. Cozy Lily, hello. Welcome in, welcome in. Oh my God. Yeah, so I'm thinking they might show us a little sneak peek of multiplayer or give us some. Here's, listen, here's what we need to know. This is what's going to be most important for us. Let me just... Uh... Are we going to get answers to some of the questions that we have? Do you think they're going to go over like game pack details, pricing? Do you think they're going to address the fact that they aren't going free to play? Do you think they're going to bring that up at all? Kristen, hello. Welcome in. Hope we can share creative styles. Ooh. I'm using my husband's YouTube so I can actually... Kelsey on Zach's page, but hello. <laughs> Hi, Zach. Welcome in. I saw the thing about an Eternity Isle. I think Eternity Isle is going to be the new world that we're traveling to that's going to have three new biomes. 
I know, it's their first showcase. And I'm assuming that there's gonna be many more to come. I hate to continue to bring up The Sims, but The Sims does this a lot. When there's a new expansion pack or anything coming out, they almost always do um, a showcase kind of like this where they'll go live, go through all of like the details of the pack and everything like that. So I feel like they'll probably do this one with every expansion pass that we have coming out. Moonflower, hello, I'm so happy I could finally catch your live. Usually your streams are in the middle of the night. I know, I normally stream at night. Welcome in, Moonflower. So good to see you. Thank you for being here. I think they're going to show a bunch of stuff today. Multiplayer expansion pass. Content update. Sneak peek into 2024. Yeah, I, I think so too. Lisa! I doubt they'll uh, address it if they're going to just talk about what's upcoming. Yeah, it'd probably be best if they... I mean, I would like to know why they fell off from wanting to do it. Like, I hope that they would give us some sort of answer, but I guess... We're just gonna have to wait and see. They're gonna gloss over anything negative and focus on the showcase. I mean, we could, one could assume <laughs> that's probably what's gonna happen. I think, yeah, I would love it if they address some of the good and the bad. And it doesn't have to be like negative, but it would be nice for them to just kind of talk about a little bit of like, hey, here's what happened. Like this would be the perfect time to do that. But with how negatively um, that information was taken, they might try to stay away from it. Um, I wonder what the multiplayer will be. Well, we know we can have up to four people based on the trailer that they released. So that's exciting. Oh, my lighting is so bad. I am so sorry, y'all. I promise, I promise I'm a professional content creator. That's my camera, you guys can better see. Um, I think that's good okay i don't like how they always clam up whenever we want or need answers i know tell us what happened just be honest sherry hello welcome in welcome in i have a feeling they might drop codes in the chat yeah because they didn't do the whole since they're they're streaming on multiple platforms they must be dropping codes in the chat I don't think that <gasps> oh my god y'all <sighs> hold on is there Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness. It's happening. It's happening! This is not a drill! Everybody calm down, take a deep breath. Okay, everybody, while we're getting set up, how do we feel about, how do we feel about sound? Is, is, is it too loud? Just right? music oh l thank you so much this is their first one so i can imagine everybody on the team is super i can't listen <laughs> i cannot imagine being the people who are about to host this live stream because there's a lot of heat <laughs> debbie hello welcome in Eight minutes. I could never host. I mean, hosting to how many people are live right now? There are 10,000 people watching this live stream right now. My heart is pounding out of my chest, y'all. It is literally like beating so fast. I need to take a deep breath. Mar Mar <laughs> Mariah, hello. So happy to catch you live, Kay. Hope usually you're live at 3 a.m. Oh my goodness. I know the time differences are so bad. Welcome in. I got in here to watch the DDV live and the stream popped up. Yay! Welcome in, Whitney. Welcome in. Yes, I know. Watching it stream. I know. I know. Oh, they've combined all the music in the different biomes in here. I love it. What's the cozy drink for you this morning? Um, I had no time to make a cozy drink. I have water and it's almost gone. When is the new one available? Um, they say December 5th is when we're getting the new expansion pass. Eerie, hello. There's so many people watching, I know. Almost 12,000 people. Reva, thank you so much for three months in the Bougie Brew Crew. 
<laughs> Excited to experience this with the bougie brew crew or with the brew crew. Yes, 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 yes. Me too. So excited. Kayla, hello. Welcome in. I hope we can pre-order it after the showcase. Do you do you think that they will? <gasps> that would be so exciting. Okay. So everything the sound is okay, right guys? At any point during the live stream, if it's too loud or too quiet, let me know so I can adjust. Zara, welcome in, welcome in. I may have scheduled my lunch for this hour specifically. Honestly, I think that was the best thing that you could have done. It's exactly what I would have done had I been having lunch right now. <laughs> okay, now it's fine. All right, if that changes, just let me know. Oh, my goodness. What are we gonna do? Should I turn the brightness of my ring light on? I don't think it's doing anything. I guess that might have helped a little bit. I gotta take a chill pill, I'm jumping with excitement. Oh. What, okay, let's talk about something else. What did everybody get on their dream snaps today? What's for dinner, Lily? You're so excited, me too. Welcome in, welcome in. Ah! Okay, I might need to, do you guys think I'll need to adjust my camera? Ignore the infinity screen right now and my setup. I'm just gonna move my camera down and make it a little bit smaller because I can only imagine that their cameras are probably gonna be above mine. There you go, you guys got a little sneak peek into OBS. <laughs> 1,200 again. Nice. Hey, consistently over 1,000 is great. I didn't put a lot of effort into mine, so I really don't think that I am going to have uh, gotten a lot. <laughs> but we'll see. Oh my gosh, they just tweeted. What are you talking about, DDB? The Disney Dreamlight Valley Showcase is live now. Join Breath of Air and Kiddosen uh, and our dev team as we take you on a trip into the future of the family. I could literally scream. This is not a drill. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. Okay, no, I can't. 15,000 people are watching right now. I'm gonna just, I'm like, I'm in their stream right now, like in their stream chat. Can I show live chat? I don't think that they... Wait, where is chat? I'm like... Am I tripping? Where is their chat? Don't talk too loud at work. Okay, I'll try to be quiet. Koba! Welcome. Oh my God. Welcome. Hello. And thank you so much for nine months. We've birthed a little coffee baby together. Coma. Hey, Kay and Brooker. It's been a while. Glad to be back. Y'all super excited for this. Literally can't wait. Coma, I'm so glad you're here. And I love your profile picture, by the way. Missed you too, Coma. Surprising the chat is more excited. Love to see them being happy. I think there are probably more people excited than upset right now. Not to comment on Kato's live stream. So excited. Can't stay, just popping in to say, hey. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is crazy. Whispers, I'm trying to be quiet and then I literally screamed, go mom. <laughs> Harley, good morning. Welcome in. How are you? Oh my God. Two minutes. I can't take it. I feel like my heart's about to explode just a little bit. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> Nuka, I was going to watch this on my own, but now I'm so happy here. Nuka, thank you so much for the super chat. If you guys do not know Nuka, you need to make sure that you get subscribed. Follow Nuka on all the socials. Nuka, you're on Twitter, Instagram. 
you're in Discord, you're everywhere. Y'all, Nuka is an awesome, awesome friend of mine. Thank you so much, Nuka, for the super chat. Angela, welcome to the Bougie Brew Crew. Angela, thank you so much for becoming a Bougie Brew Crew member. I hope you love your members only channel and Discord. Please make sure you link your YouTube to Discord if you want access to that channel and your members only live streams. And you also have access to custom emotes. So welcome. Can we get some love in the chat for Angela, y'all? So I think while they're talking and stuff, we're just going to be kind of like trying to be quiet and reacting at the same time. I'm not going to do too much talking while they're talking just because I think it'll be a lot. We're going to watch and scream and share excitement together. Someone in chat said, take my money. No, literally me. Literally me. Take, take all my money. Take all my money right now. I'm posting on Twitter. Hello? The music is so good. It. Okay, come hang out everyone. We're having a watch party. Oh my god, everybody is live right now. This is crazy. When do you guys remember this type of excitement? Around a game. Oh my goodness! What's going on? Ash, welcome to the Bougie Brew Crew. Ash, welcome in. Thank you so much for your membership. I hope you enjoy. If you're in Discord, please feel free to join Discord. I will put the link in chat. Uh, link your YouTube to Discord to get access to your members only channel. And also, congratulations, you now have access to our members only live streams. Welcome in. <laughs> breathe. Everybody has to remember to breathe. Oh my God. Oh my God. My, I think I'm gonna throw up. Oh my god. Okay, we're probably starting off with the trailer. Yeah, okay. Into the valley with your friends. Okay, we all remember seeing this. Questions are if these are biomes or realms, we don't know yet. Oh my God, I'm so excited. In-game rewards, mini games? Yes, I think that is an ice skating rink. I'm not sure about this, but that might not be Dazzle Beach. Welcome to the first ever Disney Dreamlight Valley stream. I'm Krista. And I'm Kit. And we're so excited to be your host for today. It's been just over a year since the game launched and already we've had some incredible, memorable moments. Can you guys hear today, okay? We'll be taking a look back at everything that's happened so far in Dreamlight Valley and taking a look forward to what's next. Together we'll celebrate the first year of Disney Dreamlight Valley and share new content with you, the community. We'll also be diving into the game's evolution. Turn it up a little. Talk about how these changes shaped its future. Throughout the stream, we'll be sharing some very exciting game news for things upcoming this year and beyond. We'll also okay. be hearing from some of the people that made Dreamlight Valley a reality. And there'll be right. plenty of surprise okay. reveals and exclusive teasers along the way. Thank you for tuning in today and living magically alongside your favorite Disney and Pixar characters in Disney Dreamlight Valley. Well, let's kick welcome. this stream off right. To thank everyone at home, we'll be giving away two gift bundles redeemable in the game. Bring a festive vibe to your valley with a balloon arch and balloon clusters gift bundle. You can follow the steps on screen to redeem the gift bundle and be sure to stick around till the end because we'll have another gift bundle coming then. So hey, who doesn't want free balloon. stuff? Now, Krista, now that everybody's excited, why don't you tell us a little bit more about what we have in store for us all today? Well, first, we'll be hearing from the community team, and then the game team will tell us what's next and deep dive into some upcoming content. Be sure to stick around because we'll have plenty of sneak peeks in store from the team. A great community makes any game stronger, and we're so lucky to be part of the amazing Disney Dreamlight Valley community. Let's hear from Courtney and Ryan, who are on the front lines every day with players and fans, making Dreamlight Valley the best experience possible. Y'all, this is done so well. 
Courtney and Ryan, welcome. It's been over a year since the game had its early access launch. I wonder if you can tell us what this journey has been like for you and what you've learned about the Disney Dreamlight Valley community. Yeah, absolutely. It's been just a wild experience. Uh, from day one, we've been blown away by just how passionate and the quick the community so cool. has grown. And it's just really important for us to foster a space that's really welcoming to anyone who wants to be there. Yeah, the Dreamlight Valley community is really a core of our game from providing us with suggestions on what they want to see in the game to feedback. We wouldn't be here without them. So if you want to be a part of that and make sure that your voice is heard, we encourage everyone to join our social platforms, share your feedback there, share the amazing content that you create in the game, and while we're on that, we would love to show off some of the great content that the community shared over the last year. Okay, we got some uh, showcase, some uh, features. Ooh, yo, I got magic arms. Change my outfit here. Look at that, they're really cute. Oh, Lily, Senor, it's all Lily. Oi, don't I don't think Maui's gonna make it up here. Plus, he's over here, so. I used a lot of the pink flowers. You know, Minnie loves uh -oh, the pink vibe, and she is. loves flowers. Oh. Will I be in there? I don't know. <laughs> that scared me. Wow, we finally did it. <laughs> After all this time, we did it. Yeah! We got cake, 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 cake. <gasps> <laughs> Oh. Well, it looks like the community has brought a lot of ingenuity to the Valley They forgot the me, but it's year. totally fine. What has surprised you the most about it's what so you've seen? Fun. For me, I would have to say the community's use of the Touch of Magic tool. From creating ponds and roads out of rugs to tattoos and bathing suits out of that. random pieces of clothing, it's very impressive. I can't tell if I'm impressed so or cool. terrified, but the way that the community has dedicated full rooms of their houses to creating chest hordes and organizing around the tools that we've already given them, now, it's know that absolutely blown us away. So they we still know have we quite a bit of time between now and the end of the year. Is there anything that you can share with the community about what might be coming up? We don't want to say too much because there's a lot of spoilers coming in the stream, but there is something that we can share that I think players are going to be very excited for. Yeah, a huge part of the Disney Dreamlight Valley experience is the ambiance in the valley, and so we're really excited that between a collaboration of Disney and our amazing sound team, we're able to offer the soundtrack on music streaming platforms as of today, ah! and it's gonna be a great opportunity for people to bring the vibes of the Valley Hello? into the real world. That's incredible, thank you for sitting down with us. Now let's talk about what's coming in the future and what we have planned for the rest of the year. Joining us now is Manea, the game manager on Disney Dreamlight Valley, and Rachel, community manager. So what does the team have Being planned shown. for the rest of 2023? So we have a lot of things planned actually. We want to finish the year with a big update, with a lot of content and one of the great announcements for uh, today is that we had so much fun working with Tim Burton's uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas movie in the previous update that we wanted to go a step Here further and uh, integrate Jack Skellington in the Valley. Yeah! So you will be able to welcome him to your Valley, uh, have him live with all other Disney characters oh, and you will be able so to have fun with him, spend time fishing, cooking, whatever what you want to do. It's going to be an amazing new neighbor to have and we can't wait to see the player play with, uh, with him. So so it's no secret that our fans are, well, fans of pumpkins and I think the Pumpkin King Jack is definitely going to have his home in our players' valleys. But what's more with this update is that we have a spectacular winter star path coming featuring iconic winter Disney princess books. <gasps> and I just know our community is going to love it. What an exciting update coming this winter. I know another feature we're talking about that is multiplayer. Outfit. Do you have anything new to share about that? This is one of the features that have been expected a lot by our players. They ask it a lot. We are eager to bring it also. So I'm happy to announce uh, today that for this update, we are going to introduce the Valleyverse, which is our own tech to multiplayer in Disney Dreamlight Valley. So if you spend a lot of time decorating your house, decorating your walls, making sure it's beautiful, you will finally be able to have your friend come to your valley, see all this work, oh and just show up. Uh, but there is more than that. Actually, you're going to be able to exchange items together. So let's say you sit on a big pile of uh, ironing gold, for example, oh. in your world, you know? You can give Shit. that to your friend and help them in your <laughs> quest. God. It's a really cool way to, to engage with, uh, with other players. You have also the ability to visit each other's um, Scrooge McDuck store. Oh my God. 
So if you don't like what you have in stock today in your own valley, feel free to go to your friends and see what they have in stock. And if you no. are interested in one of these items, feel free to purchase it. So that's cool. What makes the valley such a magical space is the friendships that our fans have created with the villagers in the valley. And we're just so excited to see the friendships that they've cultivated in our community spaces blossom in the valley with the I'm use of these multiplayer cause. features. Yeah, and it's really the beginning of uh, this uh, multiplayer feature. Uh, we start with this update, but we have more stuff in, in mind also. So we want to, to build on it and make it even bigger for the future. So stay tuned, we will have a lot of things to announce. <gasps> So you announced recently in a blog post that the game is planning on leaving early access alongside the launch of version 1.0. Oh Can you share more God. about that? With the end of the year, we are getting out of early access, so it's a really important moment for uh, Disney Dreamlight Valley. As we all know, uh, releasing a game out of early access means a lot of things. Uh, first, it means that since September of last year, we have been spending a lot of time with the community, discussing with them, trying to see what are like the best improvement or quality of life they want. We are also pushing with this upcoming update the biggest uh, amount of fixes and improvements so far to make sure the, the game is, is as clean as possible for the release. And um, we also wanted to make sure in terms of content, it felt complete in a way with the beginning, the middle and the end of the act one of the main story and the story arc of the Forgotten. So all in all, all that will be a good momentum for Disney Dreamlight Valley and the release of Early Access with 1.0 at the end of the year. So of course we want to extend a huge and sincere thank you to all of our early access participants whose feedback has been so invaluable to where the state of the game is currently. And of course, we're not going to be forgetting our founders with the move from early access at the end of the year. All of our founders, regardless of the tier, are going to get access to a new set of cosmetic items and 2,500 oh, moonstones. So These items are so good. I know Thank the team has been working so you. hard. What can you tell us about the roadmap for 2024 for Disney Dreamlight Valley? Of course, I cannot reveal everything, but I have few information to share. We have a lot of like updates in mind, we have a lot of characters we want to add to the Valley. And if you liked the, the kind of update we brought this year, you're going to be super happy with next year. So I won't be able to reveal too much, but what I can share is the very first Disney Realm we are going to release at the beginning of next year. So get prepared. We are going to open the door for the Disney and Pixar Monsters Inc. realm with Mike and Sully. So you will be able to go to this Inc. world, meet them, have fun with them, and then bring them to your own valley and have fun, hang out, go fishing, go cooking with Mike and Sully and see how they interact with other characters also. Mike Ton of fun. Uh, it's going to be an amazing addition to, to the world. In keeping with Manea's sense for secrecy, uh, I can't release too much information, but I characters. do want to confirm that next year with each and every update, we're going to be releasing a new star path. So fans can expect exclusive content to unlock throughout the rest of 2024. And we're excited to reveal today that a new Disney princess is joining the Valley, Tiana from Disney's <laughs> The Princess and the Frog. I do hope that our fans have beignets unlocked <laughs> and are baking in preparation for her release. If you haven't made the trip to Dreamlight Valley yet, now's really the time before the game exits early access and you can snag a Founders Pack before they go away forever. There are all sorts of exclusive goodies available for first time players and current players are gonna get some awesome rewards too. Which brings us to a very special I was so close to crying. <laughs> long, long ago. Whoa, whoa, whoa. In the waters beyond Dreamlight Valley was an ancient kingdom called Eternity Isle, filled with boundless secrets and wonder. <laughs> but one man's hunger for power broke it all and caused a rift in time. And the island was lost. Until now. Discover an all new world where only you can make things right. <gasps> Look at the garden! where fixing the past is as simple as turning an hourglass. I know it! It's time control! You need friends to help guide your way. I know it! It's time control! <gasps> oh my god, okay. A mini game! Unlock dark secrets and treasures long forgotten. Eternity Isle awaits. Yeah. <laughs>
Disney Dreamlight Valley, a rift in time, launches December 5th. Launching at the end of the year, Disney Dreamlight Valley, a rift in time, will bring players on an all new adventure in Eternity Isle. This is the first ever expansion for Disney Dreamlight Valley, and it'll add to your base game experience in some big ways. So get ready to meet new friends, explore all new quests, and discover new biomes to make your own. The epic adventure will roll out in three amazing chapters. And here to tell us more about the experience, we're joined by a few members of the development the team to tell us about the narrative, sections. art, and it's gameplay huge. of Disney Dreamlight Valley, A Rift in Time. I'm here with Josh and Calixta, senior role designer and lead quest designer. So we just learned that the paid expansion will take us on an all new it. adventure. But what can you tell us about this new place? So beyond Dreamlight Valley, there are tons of other places to explore in this world. And Eternity Isle is one of those places. They're on um, a boat! It, it really is a place where tons of strange uh, experiments were undertaken long ago. So there are lots of ancient treasures to uncover and magical artifacts that can help you control space and time. It really is a brand new world for you to discover and really? make your own and decorate and find all the secrets and mysteries of. Eternity Isle is full of mysteries and that's what I love about it. We really wanted to reward our player curiosity to this new location. And that's why we crafted so many secret places for them to discover. I can say there's hidden beaches, shrine with old treasure, and that's just to name a few, there are much more. So I think it's what? fair to say that the player will be able to explore one of the most memorable locations seen in a Disney movie. But I don't want to spoil it, so I'll stop right here. So we already had an epic story with the forgetting. What's the story this time around? So while you've been dealing with the forgetting, Jafar has been out there with a plan of his own, uh, trying to cover some of those magical artifacts I mentioned before on Eternity Isle. The only thing is that his plan, well, it's gone, let's say, horribly wrong. And now time is all tangled up on Eternity Isle. But luckily, he thinks he's found just the diamond in the rough to fix things, which is you, the player. Well, that oh, sounds a little scary. Do we have mess. any new tools to fix time with? Yeah, absolutely. You'll have your new royal hourglass to work ah! with. It's an ancient tool from times past. Yes, the hourglass will be the new source of magic player will have to fight many dangers in Eternity Isle like a splinter of faith and swirling sands. But thanks to the hourglass, player will always be able to go through and explore the world. What about the new characters? Can you tell us more about them? Sure, so Eve has been on Eternity Isle watching over the hourglass for the old ruler. You'll find her in one of the new biomes, Ancient's Landing. And there you'll have to convince her that you're a friend and not a foe so that you can get the hourglass. There's also Gaston. Gaston's been shipwrecked in the Gaston. desert for quite a while in another new biome, the Glittering Dunes. Oh, he's gonna be obnoxious. Uh, Gaston might be able to help you in your journey if you can put up with him for long enough. And let's not forget about Rapunzel. She's been living in our new jungle biome, the Wild Tangle, all by herself, Rapunzel. enjoying new life out of Mother Guttle Reach. Babe, and she also will to finding an important object for the player quest. Yeah, Rapunzel's she so looks fun. Gorgeous. I can't wait to have her in my valley. I think I'm gonna put her home in the Forest of Valor because by the way, What's just because that? they're they're coming with the expansion, that doesn't mean that we can't have them in our main valley if that's Is that her tower? Them. Well, thank you so much for telling us about the new expansion. It sounds super exciting and I know Kit is going to love it as well. The expansion looks like a blast, and I cannot wait to learn more about the beautiful new biomes that we've seen. So we've asked a few members of the art team to help us with that. Welcome Steven, the art director, and Jenny, the lead concept artist. To get us started, what are the new environments that we can look forward to seeing in the Jenny. expansion? So in the expansion, we've explored three exclusive environments. The You're first one being woman. Ancient's Landing. So this is a whole area where there used to be an ancient civilization that has left the area in we've ruins. We've got all the shops as a in this to come world. in and explore the story behind this port town and all the goods that were exchanged and the marketplaces and the experiments that they conducted. We had a very good time designing all the ancient machines that comes with it and uh, how to populate a massive port town. The next area the players come across is actually the same environment that's been split in two by the time dilation caused from when Jafar first came to this <gasps> land. On one side we have the glittering dunes, a desert environment with classic desert features such as cactus, quicksand and deserted ruins. 
Moreover, on the other side of the rift, the so landscape has become verdant and lush in a jungle biome we're calling the wild tangle. And what sorts of things can people expect to see in the new environment? So we spent a lot of time diversifying all the flora that we have. So things like new trees, new plants, new landscaping assets, all things that the player will be able to use to further decorate their valley with. And of course, they can expect to meet new critters, such as capybaras, monkeys, and cobra snakes. Oh my God! Will there be any new ingredients? Yes, yeah, so we've taken the time to add an even larger list of ingredients for the player. New fruits and vegetables, things like strawberries, and even a fantasy fig. When when it comes to gathering, you'll be able to gather cinnamon, which will be exclusive to in the expansion. We've been exploring a lot of okay, inspiration for the new meals in various parts of the, the new world. Pass. So players can expect to be making dishes such as poutine, latkes, and biryani. <gasps> We've also taken the chance to explore meals from iconic Disney movies, things like arepas from Encanto. Can we look forward to any cool new outfits or furniture? Of course. So with the new environments, we're also introducing three new characters, Eve, Gaston, and Rapunzel, each of which are going to have their own line of friendship rewards. And I'm really excited to show you one of Rapunzel's Please? rewards, which is this really nice suit and gown combo that you'll be able to receive as her signature level 10 item. The gown There'll also is gorgeous, be new but what about the hair? Which can be used for both interior design and exterior landscaping. Much of the furniture is designed around the new characters, such as Gaston's archery target, or a furniture designed around Eve's aesthetic. Oh, for me, what's quite exciting is the new biomes, when combined, are about the same size as the original village, so <laughs> players can expect to explore and decorate the vast new land. And of course, it comes with its own new go. object count, so you don't have it. to worry I'm about that. It. We've also been exploring a lot more verticality, so players can expect to find twisting pathways that lead to secret areas and spectacular vistas. Thank you, Stephen and Jenny. Now, back to Krista. We talked about the story, characters, and environment. Now let's get into the game features and mechanics of the expansion. Let's to get it. into more detail, we're joined it. by Nicola, the game director, and Jonathan, the lead designer. So we briefly heard about a new royal tool in the paid expansion. Can you tell us more about that? For sure. This new royal tool, the Hourglass, uh, what players didn't know is that the old rulers of the past of the Dreamlight Valley had more than the tools that we have right now in the game uh, in their disposition to solve problems or interact with the world. So they're going to discover that tool that has been lost in time for a while uh, with the help of a new ally that they're going to meet. And the actual gameplay with the Hourglass is inspired by the game I played when I was a child, such as treasure hunting. So what you can do with this new tool is sense hidden treasure lost in time. <gasps> that uh, you can pinpoint their location and pull them out of the flow of time in order to get them. And there are hidden treasures like that across both Dreamlight Valley and Eternity oh, Realms, so and even cool. in realms within the Dream Castle. So I'm so excited about the new Hourglass tool. It seems like it's going to unveil a whole new aspect to Dreamlight Valley. But are there other features that players can look forward to? Disney Dreamlight Valley is all about spending time with friends. And one thing that we like to do in our team is playing board games. Yeah, so we decided to channel that love of board games into one that you can play right in the game in Dreamlight Valley with your villagers. So we decided to build one that is fast-paced, strategic, and very accessible for anyone to play. Uh, you play with figurines representing Disney and Pixar characters oh that you move God. across the board in order to collect coins. At the end, the player with the most coins wins. Is there anything else we can expect in Disney Dreamlight Valley, a rift in time? One thing that we always try to do is deepen the sandbox. And to do that, well, we decided to bring to player a whole new exciting world that they're going to be able to explore, filled with new things to gather and even uh, new critters and, uh, you know, things to discover. And since there's a lot more to get, efficiency is key. New so we're introducing gather. ancient machine as part of the expansion. They are oh! special items that you can craft and put in your village that will provide a really cool new way to automate some of your sandbox gameplay. Yes! And what's really exciting about these ancient yes! machines is not only uh, that you can be more efficient, but you're going to be able to do that as well in the original village of Dreamlight Valley. Yeah. All in all, we've put a lot of ourselves in this game and we really hope that player will enjoy what it. What is that? Well what was that? Is that a new way to cook? Thank you so much for joining us to talk about the first ever expansion for Disney Dreamlight Valley, A Rift in Time. This paid expansion brings an all-new adventure with exclusive characters, biomes, and cosmetics. Remember to claim your first gift bundle by redeeming the code on the screen. 
get even more festive and claim the second gift bundle and put on your Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse ears. Enter the code on the screen to redeem your second gift bundle. To recap, we talked about how the wonderful Dreamlight Valley community, you, had a massive impact on game development. And we heard about the very exciting future of the game. There's so much free content coming soon, like The Nightmare Before Christmas with Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin King. Something we're both really excited about is the multiplayer mode. With the addition of Valleyverse, you and your friend can hang out together in your valley. We also looked ahead to 2024, adding Disney and Pixar's Monsters, Inc. and Tiana from The Princess and the Frog. We took a first look at the upcoming expansion, Disney Dreamlight Valley, <gasps> a rift in time with a new story arc, characters, environments, and gameplay. There's so much to look forward to. You can wishlist the expansion now to stay in the loop and get updates about the launch later this year. But we can't leave you quite yet. We've got one more exciting piece of news. What so let's it? check out one more thing. What is it? We are super excited to announce that we'll be growing the Disney Dreamlight Valley community even more. A special version of Disney Dreamlight Valley called Disney Dreamlight Valley Arcade Edition will be launching on Apple Arcade this December 5th. Okay. We're thrilled to give new players a way to enjoy the game on their iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, and Mac devices That's with an big. Apple Arcade subscription. Disney Dreamlight Valley Arcade Edition is a dedicated game experience that will include the base game alongside our newly announced Looks expansion, good. Disney Dreamlight Valley A Rift in Time. This version, exclusive to Apple Arcade, will get you all the latest story updates without seasonal star path or the premium shop. We can't wait for you to discover this new way to enjoy valley life. Thanks again for joining us for the first ever Disney Dreamlight Valley Showcase. See you in the valley. Thank you. See you. to do right now I don't know what to do I don't I don't know what to do right now we need to take a second and everybody needs we need to we got to talk about this all right I'm gonna go ahead and say it that $30 price point in my opinion they went above and beyond that $30 price point baby take take all 30 bucks take $31 if you want it I'll be honest with you Take an extra dollar for a tip. At this point, justified. I got to, okay, we got to take a, I got to, I'm, I'm on another level of excitement. This is not only absolutely amazing, amazing content, but I am beyond excited as a content creator right now. I, guys, do y'all understand that our community is going to be able to interact with each other now? We get to, through multiplayer, I can come to you, you can come to me. I can come shop your store. I can see your valley designs. You can help me design. I can help you design. This is absolutely insane. This is insane. And that's a part of the free update, right? Like, you don't even have to have the expansion pass. That's coming to the game where multiplayer is a feature that just comes with the free game, y'all. Well, not the free game. I'm sorry. With, with the game as it exists now. So if you buy the base game, you'll have access or, you know, the ability to access multiplayer, which is insane! On top of that, okay, so let's break things down. We've got multiplayer coming. It seems like the free new characters, I'm assuming, because I don't know if they mentioned this, but the free new characters seem to be Mike and Sully and um, Jack from Nightmare Before Christmas. So that's three new characters that I can count. Right? Am I right about that? So three new characters are coming to the game. And Tiana, and Tiana. So that's four. Now, they didn't show a picture of Mike, um, of Sully. They showed a picture of Mike, but not Sully. If you are telling me right now, if you're telling me right now that Sully, Mike, Tiana, and Jack, as a part of a free content update, is not amazing, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Buttercup, welcome to the Bougie Brew Crew. Buttercup, thank you so much for renewing your membership. Welcome back, welcome back. Mike and Sully and Tiana come in 2024, okay. 
Daisy? Y'all saw Daisy? Did I miss that in my screaming? Oh my God, I cannot believe. Okay, so we've got at least three to four new characters coming as what we expect to be a part of the free content update. The expansion pass. Let's talk about the expansion pass. The expansion pass is a whole new world. It looks like it's going to have a shop. So it looks like we have, I saw Remy's restaurant and also um, Scrooge's store. So I'm thinking that it's going to act like a totally separate biome and they're going to leave stuff in the that world so that we don't have to travel back to Dreamlight Valley. We can stay on the aisle. I'm assuming you can decorate there too. Yes, and we can decorate. So Eternity Isle is a new world that contains three new biomes with all new companions, harvestables, and places to explore. They said there's going to be a ton of places to explore and more coming. And a different item limit. So we'll be able to decorate there, which I, I, I expected that was going to have to happen. Like they were going to have to introduce a new item limit because let's be honest, like the 3,000 or the 6,000 item limit is not going to suffice for both places. I wonder if we have the game on two different systems if we'll need to buy the expansion pass for both. So my, I was hoping that they would address that, but they didn't go any, go over anything like that. To be honest, though, I'm assuming that if you are playing the game on a different platform or a different system, you're probably going to have to buy the game there as well. Mulan is coming late spring 2024. Where are we? Where did, did I just miss this in the midst of my excitement? Did I miss it? Okay, hold on. Let me see. I'm just making sure they didn't tweet out anything else. Oh my gosh. Guys, y'all know my birthday is December 6th, right? Let's look at the calendar. Let, let, us, let us take a quick peek at the calendar. December is next month. The 5th is Tuesday. So we will be streaming Tuesday and Wednesday for my birthday. A, a content update could not come at a better time for me. I cannot believe it. We will be streaming on my birthday. Oh my God. We're going to have a new update and a birthday stream. I, I cannot. I can't contain my excitement. There's literally so much to digest. By the way, for all of you or that are here and maybe some of you that are new, Console Cato and I here on YouTube host a live Disney Dreamlight Valley podcast. We are having an episode tonight to dive in deep into everything that we learned here today. So there will be an episode tonight. It's going to be at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7.30 p.m. CST time. So just as a, just as, just so you guys know, keep that on your schedules for today. That will be the stream tonight. Um, I know this may be stupid, but if I'm already playing and I only pay $20 to start, I see several options to purchase to continue. Which do I choose to get everything? Louie, I'm not sure if I understand your question, but if you already paid 20, you can upgrade and purchase another or one of the higher tiered packs I guess if you want but that would I mean you'd only really need to if you wanted to get the cosmetic items if you've purchased any version of the games you're technically part of the founder crew which means you'll get all of the access to the new items that are coming does that make sense so only you only have to really purchase the expansion pass when it comes out if you want okay the balloon one worked the headband did not they're probably still working on getting it all set up Oh my God. The code should be available soon. I'm seeing, I'm seeing you guys saying the balloon one works, but the headband didn't. Remember to type everything in in all caps. Guest on the stage stranded. Honestly, goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, oh my God, y'all. Thank you. So the 71 is a waste of money. Well, it depends. It depends. I purchased the base edition of the game and then upgraded. It went on the, um, the found, I think it's called the founder's edition, but like the $70 version went on sale and I bought it because you get like, I think it was like 14,000 moonstones, um, and all of these like, um, cosmetic items with purchasing that edition. So I went ahead and purchased it. Um, that was like a couple of months back because I needed the moonstone. So it made sense for me. 
Um, but you don't need it. If you don't want the cosmetic items or don't need the moonstones, then there's, I don't know that there's really a reason to purchase that right now, especially if you've already bought it. Sharing items with friends. When is the live starting? Alyssa, the live just ended. The live just ended. We already watched it. If you want to watch the playback, it's on Disney Dreamlight Valley's um, YouTube channel. Oh, my God. How? Okay. How are we feeling? How are we feeling? Does anyone know if the new founders items are dropping today or on update? They are dropping on update, cat, uh, update day, cat. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're not getting them early. We'll get those free with the update, I believe. And we get a new star path with, with each update, did they say? They said that we would be getting multiple new star paths. I know, Shannon Tiana. I know, I cannot believe it. I can't believe it. Take all my money. I should have had a heart rate monitor as I was watching this live stream because I was literally losing it. Okay. There's, there's so much to talk about, y'all. I have to make a post. I have to organize my thoughts and make a post. I don't know. I really have no idea what to do right now. I need the up balloons. Will you start? <laughs> I wish I could, Mimi. I got those off the star path. I got them from the star path. Um, I got the $70 version on sale and got 20,000 moonstones, which made it worth it. Yeah, I agree. If it goes on sale between now and December 4th, I would definitely say buy the $70 version when it's on sale. I know the Valley Talk, uh, is about to be good. It's about to be so good. We're going to deep dive. I haven't even talked to Kato yet, but I just know this is about to be an insane conversation. How are we feeling? Okay, how do we feel? How do we feel now? I know there's been a lots of uh, lots of ups and downs. I have to say props to DDV because that was one of the smoothest showcases I have ever seen on a game. Like they had everything together, talked, the conversation flowed well, showing off all of the new content went really well. I was very impressed with this live stream. And they left a little bit to be like explored and desired, which was really nice because there's still some things apparently that we are going to be excited about. Oh my God. Kato chat. What? <laughs> Why? Over what? I'm pretty sure they're hinting at Atlantis to be in game. I feel like Atlantis is definitely going to be in the game at some point just because we've seen so much. So many little hints and things over our time in the Valley. Yeah, the showcase was absolutely phenomenal. I enjoyed that so much. I enjoyed that so much. Yeah, we still have premium shop, um, premium shop items that will probably come. We're going to have all new star paths. We're going to have at least six to eight new friendship items that come with like questing with all of the new characters that are coming to the Valley. I, I'm sorry, besides the expansion pass information, which was absolutely amazing. I, I literally cannot wait. I have to say, I did call it. I said it was going to be a time control tool, and it is, which is so cool to see. I love that so much. But we have to talk about multiplayer. Hold on. Let me see something real quick. Let's take a look at multiplayer again together. Ready? So if you spend a lot of time. Let's go back because I need to see so this again. We will be again. able to welcome him to your valley, uh, have him live with all other Disney characters, and so we'll good. be able to have fun with him, spend time eating, cooking, whatever what you want to do. It's going to be an amazing new neighbor. I'm just turning it down so we can talk. We can't wait to see the player play with, uh, with him. So it's no secret that our fans are, well, fans of pumpkins and i think the pumpkin king jack is definitely going to have his home in our players valley did they show so jack's the house valley. first of all where are we gonna put mike soli jack and tiana wait no that was chez remy's i was gonna say was that restaurant tiana's star path coming featuring megan hello disney princess look and megs don't worry go back and watch it in your free time you're gonna love it look at this look at this character skin can I just say I need this outfit? Forget giving the outfit to the character. Let me get the character skin. I need the outfit.
Some people are getting booted to the item. Okay, Island. Okay, so I need to know. Hold on. Let's let me see. I'm gonna start a poll because I'm wondering. Do you think we will be able to relocate Eric to different worlds? I am so curious if we're gonna be able to move, let's say, Maui to um the aisle. Ignore the that different is spelled wrong, okay? Because I'm not, I, I'm too, I've got too many jitters to try to fix that right now. <laughs> Let me know. What do you guys think? Maui is definitely getting yeeted to Eternity Isle at this point. Mercedes, hello. Welcome in. Tina is going in the Glade. Tina has to go in the Glade. It's the perfect place for her. One of my faves are going to stay on the main valley with you. Yes. Okay. Um, love this. I love this character skin. Update coming this winter. I know another feature we're talking about is multiplayer. Multiplayer. To share about that. This is one of the features that have been expected a lot by our player. They ask it a lot. We are eager to bring it also. So I'm happy to announce uh, today that for this update, we are going to introduce the Valley Verse. Valley Verse is a part of the content update. It is not a part of the expansion pass. Okay. I need everybody to understand that. This comes with the free content update that is coming to the game. Valleyverse multiplayer is a part of that. It's not a part of the expansion pass. All right, so looking at the free content roadmap, we've got December 5th, we're welcoming the Pumpkin King to the Valley. Late winter, so late in December, um, I'm assuming. And we'll get multiplayer. So yeah, December 5th is when we get majority of the new features. Um, we'll get new Realm Door opens. That's when we'll get probably Mike and Sully. Early spring, a vibrant new villager moves to the valley. A vibrant new villager. It has to be Daisy. Y'all. Are y'all seeing this? This is the free content update roadmap. Okay, so I just need everybody to take a second and understand what we are looking at. This is the free content roadmap. Okay, this is content that's coming free to your game. Multiplayer and the Pumpkin King Jack. Late winter, you're getting Sully and Mike. Early spring, the only hint we have here is it's a new villager and it's Daisy Duck. Okay, late spring, you don't find a realm like this every dynasty. There's a new realm? Is that another character? And then in the summer of 2024, that's when we get Tiana. That's six. That's six new characters. It's Mulan, okay, because of the flowers. It looks like it's Mulan because of the flowers. That's six new characters and multiplayer. Are y'all are y'all kidding me? So for the people who are concerned that the content updates were going to be lackluster, so far it's looking like there are big plans. And these are major characters, okay? Jack Pumpkin, depending on how you feel about that movie, maybe not so much. But Mike and Sully are part of big content updates. Daisy Duck is huge. Mulan and Tiana? Mulan and Tiana? We're assuming if it's Mulan. Now, this is obviously expected. Things could change. But please, come which on. is our own tech to multiplayer in this Nadrim Light Valley. So if you spend a lot of time decorating your house, decorating your world, making sure it's beautiful, you will finally be. This is where we access the valley verse, it looks like. This is going to be an item place that maybe we can place anywhere in the valley that we can go up and we're going to access some ability to travel online. Zena, so good to see you, by the way. Be able to have your friend come to your valley, see oh my all God, this the fist bump. and just show off. Uh, but there is more than that. Actually, you're going to be able to exchange item together. So Y'all, we get to trade items. Y'all remember we were talking about? There's like, there's just no way they're gonna allow us to exchange stuff. Like, there's just no way. Well. That's that's not the case, obviously, as you can see. We are going to be able to give each other things. Now, I don't know if this just pertains to food because that's what we can see here or if it's going to be like objects. So let's say you sit on a big pile of uh, iron ingot, for example. <gasps> no, it is. We can share resources. 
We can share resources. And well, you know, you can give that to your friend and help them in their Teddy. Place. It's a really cool way to, to engage Dream with Dreamlight Daddy, Teddy. Let have me get some iron. To visit each other, uh, I am, I am store. fast paced so running to Teddy's Island. If you don't like what you have in stock today in your own valley, you can shop Scrooge's store together. We can, we can exchange items and resources. We can shop each other's store. We can tour each other's valleys. Feel free to go to your friends and see what they have in stock. And if you are interested in one of these items, feel free to purchase it. So that's cool. What makes the valley such a magical space is the friendships that our fans have created with the villagers in the valley. And we're just so excited to see the friendships that they've cultivated in our community spaces blossom in the valley with the use of these multiplayer features. Yeah, and it's really the beginning of uh, this uh, multiplayer and this feature. this is just the beginning uh, of multiplayer. We start with this update, but we have more stuff in, in mind also. So we want to, to build on it and make it even bigger for the future. So stay tuned, we will have a lot of things to announce also. So you announced recently in a blog post that the game is planning on leaving early access alongside the launch of version. Okay, I, I literally, I can't, I literally can't contain my excitement about multiplayer. They have outdone themselves. Will we be able to sell our own uh, clothes in the shop? I don't know, Jay. I don't think so. Maybe not yet, but maybe in the future. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, I have to I have to remember to breathe. My lighting is getting worse as the daylight changes, so so sorry about that. Let's look at the cooking part again. Let's let's let's. That was right at the end, right? Okay, I think it's here. Hold on, guys. If your code isn't working, just give it a second. I think that they're working on a fix. Also, I hear some people or I see some people saying, at, "Try adding a space at the end of your code and see if that works." If not, be patient. It's not going anywhere. Um, they're going to fix it. Where's this, like... On the screen. Get even more festive and claim the second gift bundle and put on your Mickey Mouse sure. and... Okay, here That's it is. Player. Yep, efficiency is key. So we're introducing Ancient Machine as part of the extension. So they we are... get a machine that helps us to water our crops, which I cannot... I cannot begin to tell you how much we needed that. Or, uh, special items that you can craft and put in your village that will provide a really cool new way to automate some of your sandbox games. Yes, we're probably going to have to wait till December 5th for the next star path, for only, sure. Uh, that you can be more efficient, but you're going to be... You're going to be able to be more efficient. So this is the old way of cooking. Be able to do that as well. Level 3 auto cooker. It's a tool. It's a tool, I think. So this is, we are going to be able to finally, finally, finally multi-cook, bulk cook. Okay, so we've got our coal. We have all of our ingredients. It'll show us what we're about to make. And then you can cook up to 30 items, it looks like. In the original village of Dreamlight Valley. Yeah, all in all, we've put a lot. It does look like it's going to cost resources, though. Hannah, hello, welcome in. I normally watch, but I uh, finally got a channel set up so I can join. Oh, welcome in. I can't wait to play with other people. We are so excited. So it looks like these are diamonds. I mean, to be honest, this doesn't bother me. This doesn't bother me at all. Um, I don't know why we would need diamonds to cook. Maybe they'll give further explanation, but like, I think that this does it. It takes away the fact of it being like too easy. Which you have to add in games like this, or people would just like blow through it, you know? Both of ourselves. It looks like a new currency. I doubt it. I doubt it. I, they're not going to add a new currency into the game. I don't think so. I think this is diamonds or gems. It's going to cost a certain amount of gems to do it. This game, and we really hope that player will enjoy it as much as we do. Yeah, guys, this is this is big. This is big. Okay. Um, just, I don't even know what to say or do right now. Yeah, you got, get, look, we're all going to start working on our quest. We're going to start gathering up all the diamonds we can get. <laughs> Stock up on the cold. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm mad I got the cozy edition and can't have two cottages. You can apparently have two cottages if you make one cottage or house skin and the second cottage you just place down as a regular house. I think. Okay, so 
Guys, I got to I got to go. It's time for me to go into mommy mode, but before we leave, I just want to say I'm so excited and thank you to everyone who watched this live stream with me. I'm so glad that you were here. I know there were so many content creators streaming today, so it was just amazing to have you guys here with me. And yes, Valley Talk, okay? Our Disney Dreamlight Valley podcast is ha happening tonight. Um, we are going to do a deep dive into everything about this content update, the roadmaps, multiplayer, everything that was announced today on this live stream. We're going to be taking a deep dive. So make sure that you're subscribed to myself and also Console Cato here on YouTube. So you guys do not miss this live episode of Valley Talk. It's going to be so good. I literally cannot wait. The time is going to be 7.30 CST, 8.30 EST, okay? So, um, yeah, I hope to see you guys there. Thank you so much for hanging out. Let's see. I don't know if you guys want to continue chatting. Let's go ahead and see if there's someone else still live streaming. Maybe Kato's still live streaming right now. Let me see. Yes, Kato's still live streaming. Let's raid Kato. We'll see what Kato's talking about. And yeah, get prepared for Valley Talk. Yes. So just convert the time 8.30 p.m. EST to your time. That'll be the time that we are live for you, okay? Let me add in a redirect. Oh my God, I cannot. I I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to focus on anything else today. I have like the jitters and I feel like I need to get all of this information out of my head. Um, Great, fantastic. All right, let's save. All right, let's raid Kato. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I will see you guys tonight live for Valley Talk. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.